So I'd like to start with a question about education and this idea of mentoring. In your career, you've mentored a large number of very successful people. Alan Kruger from my class, Ed Balls, Cheryl Sandberg, Natasha Sarin, who's here with us today. Uh, what is your philosophy of mentoring? How do you think about this analytically? And what can the rest of us learn from this? So I should say first, uh, Tyler, since you were kind enough to compliment my class, that when my wife heard that I was uh, doing this interview with you, she thought it was really exciting because you had written the only economics book that she had <laughs> ever enjoyed reading. <laughs> <laughs> that book being about where and how to find good food. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, she really, you know, working in the White House, that was fine. But being interviewed by Tyler Cowan, that meant I had really arrived. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, I don't really think of it as mentoring. I think of it as uh, finding people who are as talented as I can to work with and then trying to make sure that it's something that works for both people. And so each of the people you've mentioned, I've got an enormous amount out of the working relationship as we collaborated on various kinds of uh, projects. And I tried to give back as well by uh, helping people advance uh, in uh, their careers. And in each of the cases you formed, I form, you described, I formed friendships that have lasted uh, for, uh, for, a long, uh, for a long time. So I thought of it as something that was very much, I didn't think of it as some huge act of generosity on my part, uh, very, much, uh, uh, very much the contrary. Getting to work with Sheryl Sandberg, I was a much better Treasury Secretary because I had Sheryl Sandberg as the Chief of Staff. And something similar is true of each of the people I've worked with. You know, I think my experience working with people is that if you pick able people and you make clear that you think very highly of their talents, they will welcome it if you tell them the truth about what they've done better and what they have done uh, worse. And so I've had a relatively direct approach uh, with uh, the people uh, who I've uh, who I've worked with, and I've encouraged them to have a very direct approach uh, with me. And that's tended to work out for uh, both of us.